with The Hippie Hacker and today we are at CES 24 here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Today we're going to be seeing various companies and products that they're going to be releasing and also prototypes that these companies are working on here specifically focusing on tech. Immediately entering through the doors at Central Hall, you're hit with 15 stunning 77-inch OLED Ts. A wall of stunning OLED displays moving like a wave on their automated mounts. These new TVs can go from having a dark background to being completely transparent in an instant. They have ambient lighting to highlight whatever you might want to display above the TV. And also, using LG's wireless technology, this TV erases clutter and receives input from an outside source that LG is calling their Zero Box. But LG isn't the only company showing off their TVs this year. Debuting the world's first micro LED transparent display, Samsung has brought their new lineup of razor thin transparent TVs to CES. What you're seeing is a transparent screen in the foreground with a separate screen acting as a background, allowing for a more come to life experience. One sample Samsung had on display was viewing a football match from a skybox. You could see stats, player information all in the foreground with an actual match being played on the back panel to show us a real world application of this technology. In addition to their transparent displays, Samsung showed us their bezel free micro LED TVs. Micro LED technology gives you all the benefits of OLED screens such as deep black levels and vivid colors, all while being more energy efficient. It performs best by not using organic emitters for LEDs, which reduces the overall risk for burn-in drastically. How cool is that? Let's head out to our next location, but before we leave, we'll walk through LG's WebOS zone. A tunnel of 150 curved OLED displays showing off an immersive experience of movie and video game trailers all coming from their partners. Not wanting to stop at the screens just for your home, LG wanted to make the same level of luxury portable. So they came up with Alphable. It's a car concept giving us a look at what the future might be like. It's equipped with advanced autonomous capabilities allowing for it to transform into a digitalized personal cave on the go. Sitting in the front, you have 180 degrees of smart screens that display the road in front of you. Being a self-driving car of the future, the seats swivel around to face other passengers, allowing for more personal conversations. It has a built-in wine concierge feature and extra storage for other amenities, like video games. The Alphable is just showing off. In addition to the Alphable, LG Innotech was showcasing their newly developed wireless battery management system. In your typical EV car, you have wires and cables all connecting different parts together. Well, with this new concept, all the different components of the vehicle are communicating via Wi-Fi. And by removing all the cable linkages, you're able to have more space, carry less weight, and allow for more room for larger car batteries. Meet the Fila. A Sony Honda prototype that they are working on releasing in the 25-26 timeframe. The car was first driven out to the stage using a PS5 controller. Probably because it feels like something out of a video game. It uses advanced sensing devices such as LiDAR and radar to better detect its surrounding inside and outside the vehicle. The car is conceptualized as a creative entertainment space, allowing for you to bring your digital life in the car with you. From one car to another, the Hyundai Mobis is a concept car that uses the new e-corner system that allows a car to crab walk into a parallel park, a fixed point turn, spin zero radius on the spot, and drive diagonally. A solution to all my parking nightmares? Yes, please. Keeping up with Hyundai, this is DICE. DICE stands for Digital Curated Experienced Mobility. It can drive across through various trains all while keeping stability. It's powered by hydrogen fuel as an eco-friendly alternative to personal transportation. And it's thought of to be a space just for one person to relax as it autonomously takes you to your destination. Intended for a more natural mode of getting around. Wanting less nature and more muscle? Well, Bugatti showed up to CES 24 and they brought a car, but really they were there to show off their fancy scooters. So if you own a Bugatti, you can get yourself a matching scooter. Or if a multi-million dollar car is out of your price range, here's a fun consolation. 
You know what? Let's leave the fancy scooter and smart car at home because up next we have the LG Bon Voyage Camper. It's a fully electric solar concept trailer that is 12 and a half feet long and seven feet tall. It houses a queen size bed, bathroom and shower, not to mention the glamping options for a wine bar and shoe cleaning area in the back of the camper. The main idea is that it's customizable of which LG appliance or features you wanna include. An idea like this could really bring all the comforts of home to the nature locations you wanna visit. What a dream. Back to work, I guess. Well, Hyundai reminded us that not all vehicles are used for personal use or even in person for that matter. Using their Twin X site, they are showing the future of construction by working on any site anywhere in the world regardless of time and space. It uses digital twin technology, so on one end, the user is using VR technology as a remote control, and the other side is a fully functioning wheel loader. In this example, the wheel loader was showing live footage from a site in Georgia. One of the cool features was when the machine would be blocking the line of sight, the screen would display a feed of what was up ahead. When there's an obstruction, a red box would appear indicating hazardous material or a person was blocking the path. Well, that's enough automotive for now. Let's take the Vegas Loop over and meet some of the new CES robots. The Vegas Loop is a tunnel system filled with a fleet of 42 Teslas driven by humans that will transport you around the Las Vegas Strip. Here at CES, it'll shave off about 20 to 30 minutes of walking from different locations at the Las Vegas Convention Center. And at first it felt like a normal ride in a Tesla. But then suddenly you're going 35 miles per hour in a narrow tunnel, which can be pretty unsettling the first time. The only way to ride the Vegas Loop is by attending a conference held at the LVCC, but nonetheless, it's a nice way to travel. Loving this type of content? Well, I can't do it without your support, so be sure to subscribe and comment down below what piece of tech you would want the most from CES. Now, coffee is a girl's best friend. Meet Adam a robot barista who can interact with customers to make almost any drink, as well as food, and he cleans up his messes. The robot alone can run an entire business, whether that business is serving cocktails, boba tea, or your favorite latte. Well, if you're looking for more personality from your robot barista, Artly is another that has one thing that the others don't. Real learn gestures and quality from actual baristas. The robot can make you your favorite coffee or tea and can do up to 30 different latte arts. Real baristas wear gesture tracking technology, so as they pull espresso shots or pour milk into your drink, their movement is being tracked to then be put into use in the Artly robot. I can confirm, it makes a great dirty chai latte. Coffee in hand? Now let's see what Nikon is brewing. A vision system that allows robots to have human eyes and outperform us. High-speed sensing for 2D and 3D cameras attached to the robot to perform high-speed manufacturing. This allows the robot to be able to perform on the action it's been taught to do. So if an obstacle or error happens, the robot can quickly readapt and successfully execute the intended action. Looking for a robot that's great with kids? Well, I've got you covered. Moxie is a social-emotional AI robot that focuses on play-based learning. Whether it's learning about how to deal with emotions or specific subjects in school, Moxie is a companion that will help any child's development. The robot uses generative AI, and with that, most parents would be concerned with what the robot could be saying. However, it uses a child filter to keep the conversation kid-friendly and appropriate. Starting with Samsung's newest gaming goodies, Entering the gaming section of the Samsung booth, we've got monitors, mobile gaming, projectors, and so much more. What stood out to me the most was the 2D, 3D monitors they're showcasing. This throws me back to the Nintendo 3DS days, but essentially the monitor has two cameras that are tracking your eyes, and it will adjust the 3D effect based on your positioning and eye movements, making the game more immersive without the need of 3D glasses. In the Sony Gaming Showcase, I got to play a demo of Gran Turismo 7. And as you can see, I stepped into the game and loved it. The driving controls were really impressive with the steering wheel, making you feel like you're actually driving a car. Then they also had a section for The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered. 
I sadly was not allowed to film the screen, but I could tell you the remastered version does not disappoint. Wanting to get more out of your gaming? How about feeling like you're actually in the game? Razer has a new option for gamers that gives you a new way to experience realistic tactical sensations. The Razer HD Haptic Gaming Cushion is compatible with most gaming or office chairs. It uses a 2.4 wireless connection, and as I was playing the demo, it was very helpful knowing where my player was getting hit from, even though I'm not good at shooter games. Not stopping with simply feeling the action of your favorite game. Our next booth, GoV, immerses your whole room. Cogniglow uses a camera that can identify 100,000 different events happening on the screen, like fireworks or action fight scenes. But not only can it work with your TV, but also any of your other GoV light systems. The AI SyncBox Kit 2 is a hub that can support up to 8K and 4K 120 HDMI support. It supports 30 game integrations right now for specific lighting for games like League of Legends, Valorant, and Call of Duty. And they only plan to add more. It comes with two light bars, an LED strip, but you can still integrate more of their lighting solutions to sync with your whole gaming setup. But this works not only for gaming, but also external monitors or TVs. How about we take a look at the latest in XR and VR? We stopped by the Shrek booth and had to take a peek at these glasses that use XR technology to support both business settings and daily life. In my demo, I was reading a script that would cue scenario work diagrams. And as I walked around the booth, the built-in AI would interpret my surroundings and would suggest actions based on what I was looking at, such as setting an alarm clock or playing a lullaby when looking at a teddy bear. My demo did have some bugs in it, but it's a fun concept that could have future applications. In gaming VR, we have the X-Real Air 2 Ultra. Having two cameras on the front that track hand motions and gestures, it has a wider field of view of 52 degrees than its predecessor. There's a 120 Hz refresh rate, and it also supports electrochromic dimming to remove any background distractions. The price point for these glasses is $699 as compared to the $499 for the Pros. After leaving x -Real, we went to see something that I personally have been wanting to check out, the Insta360 Ace Pro. The camera supports 4K 120fps slow-mo with the flip screen, the first of any action camera on the market. You can snap 48 megapixel photos using gestures. It's the only camera that, when you're recording, you can pause the video and resume where you left off, as compared to recording an entirely separate video. It has an expandable storage up to one terabyte and has a two plus hour battery life. Going from an action camera to a casual fun camera on the go, Kodak has a cute new instant print camera called the Smile Plus. It has three lens that accepts cartridges of 10, or you could save images to a micro SD card. Not only do they print images, but depending on the cartridge, the image could be a sticker. Even though it was midday, we took a minute to go look at the stars with Unistellar in the Nikon booth. Launching the Odyssey and Odyssey Pro smart telescopes, Unistellar makes stargazing and sky photography more accessible. The telescopes are manual focus free and just require an iOS or Android device to start viewing the stars. The only difference between the Pro and the base model is that the Pro includes the Nikon eyepiece technology in addition to using a mobile device for viewing. After looking at the stars, we wanted to highlight a CES star making a difference for children. Siemens is revolutionizing prosthetics as we know it. They're creating them by using a digital twin to match the skin color of the user and sizing based off of 3D scan data. Each prosthetic is unique with no sizes for kids having to grow into. Don't blink, let's head home to see what CES has to upgrade your smart house. Firstly, you might never need to make a grocery list again thanks to Samsung. Their fridges contain AI vision inside, meaning they're tracking what goes in and out of your fridge, updating your food list, and estimating when your food is about to spoil. Their new laundry machine can detect fabric types and soil levels to adjust your washing and your detergent as needed. The JetBot combo uses AI to detect different floor types as it's cleaning and maneuvers around objects laying on the floor. So your fridge made getting your groceries easier, but what about your cooking? Well, Sharp is here to help. 
These ovens are the first of their kind to use gold carbon heaters to allow for a charcoal grill flavor and convection circulation. This reduces cooking time to as little as one third of your standard home oven. Cooking and baking being faster and the food is tasting better. Something I could get used to. I'm sure you'll want dessert after making dinner in your high-speed oven. How about ice cream? Cold Snap is the first instant ice cream maker. You can insert a can and within two minutes have ice cream pouring out. There's a variety of flavors with non-dairy versions and the cans are shelf stable. Currently, the ice cream makers are meant for commercial use, but after speaking with one of their reps, it sounds like they are working on one for ice cream lovers to have at home. So trying the cold snap ice cream, it's very different compared to normal soft serve. Normal soft serve, sometimes you get like little granules of ice in the ice cream. Whereas with this, it, it tastes more like heavy cream and it's more um, of that like creamy, rich kind of flavor. After dinner and a night's sleep, Kohler has the perfect way to start your morning with a dream shower. Displaying their Anthem Plus digital shower system that allows you to control up to 12 shower heads at the same time. You'll be able to control the temperature and pressure of each, as well as save settings as presets with Alexa integration. No morning is complete without coffee. So I'd like to introduce to you my cute little coffee making friend, Duobo, a coffee maker that creates two espresso shot layered blend coffees. It's completely customizable via their app down to temperature and pressure for each capsule. And at the end, you have a little spaceship looking robot that poops out your coffee. How about stepping outside in the brisk morning air with your hot espresso to the sun shining and the birds singing? Birdify makes that moment so much sweeter. Now you get a peek into the lives of your neighborhood songbirds with their homes and feeders. They're 100% solar and some of them are actually made from sustainable materials. Whether it's viewing a nest of chicks hatching or viewing hummingbirds from multiple angles, Birdify will allow any bird watcher to view birds without causing any disruptions. Feeling relaxed yet? Let's add one more luxury layer to your home tech lineup. I was one of the first people in line early on Thursday morning to try out Body Friend's Falcon Massage Chair. The massage chair uses airbag and magnet technology to give you a full body massage. As I was in the chair, I could actually feel the airbags inflating to grab onto my feet. It would then pull and actually stretch my legs for me, which I've never heard of any massage chair doing before. There are spokes on the insides where your arms go to try to replicate acupuncture. And overall, my experience felt heavenly. Now, I saved two fun experiences for last. Let's check them out. Ever dreamed you could be beamed anywhere in the world? Well, Proto is very close to making that happen. Proto Holograms is the next step in accessibility for any user. Using 8K video feed, you can beam into any Proto unit anywhere in the world as a hologram. This is allowing for any doctor in the world to visit any patient in the world. Also, a new alternative to how we talk to loved ones that may not live close to home. AARP gave a presentation where Howie Mandel in LA beamed himself to CES in Las Vegas, and he was interacting with the crowd. My husband got to get up and ask Howie a question, and even said it looked like he was actually in the room. So Howie, uh, being an entertainment personality that you are, um, and such a famous person, how do you feel that this technology could not only impact healthcare, but also entertainment as we go you know, forward as this time addresses? Well, that's a great question. The truth is, this is just one element of what you can do. And I could be a caregiver, I could be a patient, I could be an entertainer, I could be a family member. You know, whatever you need it for decides what you want to use this for. But this has checked so many boxes, no pun intended. <laughs> but uh, this is the ultimate in thinking outside the box. Finally, we decided to follow Alice down the rabbit hole and wound up in SK Wonderland, a net zero future. We took the hydrogen power train watched an EV car showcase the wonders of EV batteries and fluids. And then finally, took the magic carpet ride that represents urban air mobility as being convenient and eco-friendly.
This has been your bestie in tech, Maddie, the hippie hacker. And if you love tech, go ahead and subscribe and I will catch you all next time. Bye.